to know that he got you. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it is. <laughs> and I know that. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. Yeah. Let's give God a hand clap of praise.
Brother so Eric, good. it comes from First Kings. All right. That nice chapter. Good to have Brother Shane back. Amen. Woohoo! Amen. Yes, it is, sir. Yes. The ninth nice chapter. The first through the third verse. Brother well, Gavin, yeah, good to see you in Amen. Woohoo! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. First King, the ninth chapter, starting with verse one and concluding with verse 3. And it says, and it came to pass when Solomon had finished the building of the house of the Lord and the king house and all Solomon's desire which he was pleased to do. That the Lord appeared to Solomon the second time as he had appeared unto him at Gibeon. And listen now. And the Lord said unto him, I have heard thy prayer and thy supplication Thank you, Jesus. That thou hast made Thank you, Lord. Me. Thank you, Lord. I have hallowed mm -hmm. this house uh -huh. right. yes. which thou hast built mm -hmm. to put my name there forever. Forever. And my eyes and my heart shall be there perpetually. Yeah. Right. That's good. Yes, it is. Let him use you. I'm not going to say for certain, but I somehow, Yolanda, believe that those of us who are fit plus years yes. can remember a TV commercial uh -huh. by a leading television manufacturer by the name of Zena. Mm -hmm. They went something like this. The quality goes in before the name goes on. With your permission and the aid of the Holy Spirit, I would like to preach from that subject. The quality goes in, Shantae, before the name goes on. All right. All right. <coughs> History will affirm and the age, ages will attest to the fact that it is unwise mm -hmm. and ill-advised mm -hmm. to build a house for God mm -hmm. and not be certain that God Almighty himself will decide to reside there. All right. All right. All right. God house is his house. That's right. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. And Maryland, if it is his house, he must determine if it's suitable place for him to dwell. That's good. Since we say 
Marion is his house. Uh -huh. And we have built it yes, sir. for him. Where we can serve him in spirit and in truth. Yes, sir. God alone, alone. must give a sign that he will accept it as his sanctuary and designate it as a place for the most high. All right. However, be careful. Mm -hmm. Just because we have built it for him doesn't give us the prerogative or the right to try and force him to live there. <laughs> we must give God the key, yes. the title, mm -hmm. and the deed, yes. and divest ourselves divest. of any ownership <laughs> and claim we think we have and let him decide for himself if this house will become his home. Are you pray with me? Church, I am convinced that it is unwise and ill-advised to build a house for God and don't consult with him to be certain that he has decided to be his occupant. In other words, you can build a cathedral, grand and tall. But if God ain't there, it ain't a church. Because his presence that's it right is there. crucial yes, it is. to the existence of yes, the church. It is. Therefore, I want to share with you that which the Lord has revealed to me with regard to the quality goes in before the name goes on. That's good. If you have a moment, I want to go back through the pages of history before the birth of Jesus. When Solomon was seated on the throne of Israel. Solomon had come to the throne of Israel mm -hmm. when he was just a boy child. Yes, yes. But watch this, God blessed Solomon uh -huh. with reservoirs filled with silver and gold. Yes. His horses mm -hmm. were too numerous to count. Yes, yes, yes. He had many wives and several concubines. Yes, yes. However, uh -huh. Solomon wasn't only blessed materialistically. Yes, yes. Unlike his father David, uh -huh. he was allowed to build a temple for God. Yes. Now watch this. Solomon believed that nothing, yes, yes. I said nothing, uh -huh. was too good for God. The temple walls and floors were of gold, pure gold. The lumber was cedar that was transported from the city of Lebanon. Along with that, Solomon had drinking vessels that were made of ivory and pure gold. We must not overlook the fact that it took Solomon seven years. I said seven years to complete the temple. Allow me to throw this in for free. Sometimes God has a way of delaying the building process that's right, that's right. until we build it the way he wants it built. Uh -huh. yeah. Somebody ought to hear me. Some of us anxious. I don't care what you say. 
You can't hurry God. God time. Albert is not our time. God answered only to his own alarm clock. Sometimes his ways are hard to understand. But his ways are not our ways. And his thoughts are not our thoughts. It just might be that his way of telling us it's my house. I will build it when I get ready. And the way I want it to be built. Now, the Bible says that when Solomon finished building the house for God, mm -hmm. God appeared unto him the second time. Mm -hmm. This let me know when God has a work mm -hmm. for you to do for him, James, yes, yes. he will show up Man. like he did with Solomon right. a second time. Right. Second time. I got to keep it real. Keep it real. Keep it real. Keep it real. If the Lord doesn't reveal himself to you the first time, I'm under the impression that he will not be back a second time. But when the Lord lays his hands on you and have a work for you to do, the Lord will come but first time, and will give you an assignment. But the second time, he will confirm it for you. The first time, God will give you sight. But the second time, God will give you some insight. The first time, God will reveal his plan. But the second time, God will reveal his purpose. When God appeared to Moses the first time, God said, pull off your shoe. Thou is standing on holy ground. But the second time, God appeared to Moses. He said, tell Pharaoh to let my people go. The first time God appeared to Ezekiel, all he saw was a valley a dry bone. Come on. But the second time God appeared to Ezekiel, he saw a valley of dry bones coming together. The first time God appeared to John on the Isle of Patmos, John saw loneliness. The second time he appeared to John, John saw a new heaven and a new earth coming down out of heaven as a bride of dawn for her husband. So when he appeared to Solomon the second time, God said something to him. The first thing God said, Solomon, I have heard your prayer and supplication. Church, I don't care what you say. If God's house is going to be built, somebody got to do some prayer. Oh, somebody missed that. We got to have some pray done in the house in order for God to work. Somebody got to know how to say, Father, I stretch my hands to thee. No other help. I know. But that's not all that God said to Solomon. Hear me, church. I have hollowed this house that thou hast built. Mm -hmm. My brothers and sisters, if it's going to be God's house, mm -hmm. and if he's going to live in it, we can build it, but God has to bless it. We can design it, but God must dedicate it. Yeah. We can structure it, yeah. but God 
quality goes in, for the name goes on. Amen. Amen. What a word. And that applies to a structural building, but it also applies to our lives. Say first. that. Say that. That's a message for each and every one of us. Amen. Quality. What kind of life are we living? That's right. Are we living a life that God would put his stamp of approval on it? Yes. Come on. We need to consider that. And it's, it's not about you. It's about me. Yes. That's an individual thing. Yes. Amen. Person, Amen. We need to take personal inventory of ourselves. Yes. 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 And, and remove 